interested to, to hear like what your take is on that short report and how IIPR has been doing this year. REITs are something that investors that might not be interested in the cannabis sector might be like a, a way in. REITs are highly compelling. Just again, when we talk about human nature, for some reason, there's this human nature to like income. Like <laughs> when we buy stocks, and in, in, in my view, I mean, capital appreciation is still passive income. I mean, I bought this stock, I didn't do anything, I made money. But for human nature, for the average human, they may not think that way. They're going to they're gonna view the dividend income as being the quote unquote true passive income. So they're going to be very, very attracted to like a REIT. So when they think about investing in cannabis, a lot of investors might only be investing in IIPR, you know, and only be investing in the REITs. So some of the things the short report discussed were quite curious. So to me, it's, it did seem like this, um, this, this firm, and again, I, I, there's no reason not to respect the firm, um, but that every firm can make a bad call. Um, in this case, it seemed like they, they were not so familiar with net lease REITs, right? So one of the things they mentioned was they didn't think IAPR was a real estate operator. They thought it was more like a financer of cannabis stocks, right? Of like the NSOs. Um, but to me, that's that's not a bad thing. That's exactly what it is. I mean, anyone investing in net, net lease REITs, not just cannabis REITs, but any of uh, the triple net lease REITs, um, you should know they're not really real estate operators. They are exactly real estate banks. The whole point of a net lease transaction is that you're giving your customer, the tenant, capital, right? And they're basically signing a lease. The only difference between a normal debt, like a normal personal loan, or a, in this case, a corporate loan, and the net lease is that uh, the bank, in this case, IPR, they get ownership of a property. That's the only difference. But in reality, and, and, and the other clear difference is that this is a lease, it's not a debt. So the debt doesn't mature, right? You have to renew the lease every time. But it's very closely resembles a bank. This is not new.